Hi, my name is Nick Cottrell. Uh, I've been spending the last couple of days playing around with a new application that's been released. Uh, Microsoft recently announced it. It's called the Champions Management Platform app. It integrates with Microsoft Teams. Uh, and if you're in an organization that's trying to launch a Champions program to help with the adoption and rollout of Microsoft 365, I think this might be a useful tool for you. To get started, you might want to take a look at the official Microsoft information. I've also written a short blog uh, where I review the application and my findings as I've been playing around with it for the last couple of days. But if you scroll around, you can see information about the product and you can click on Get Solution to follow the instructions inside of GitHub to deploy it into your tenant. Uh, to deploy it into your tenant, you need to be uh, a global administrator or a SharePoint administrator. But all the instructions you can find here in the GitHub or the official Microsoft resources. I deployed mine into um, a, a community or a, a team that I'd already created, the Champions team. So I'd use the standard uh, Champions template uh, and then I clicked into the Champions corner and I've added it in as a tab. Again, all the instructions in the Microsoft resources on GitHub. So this is it. This is the Champions Management Platform. Uh, as the owner of this channel, uh, the administrator, the person that put this in there, I can see a lot more than the, the, the typical end user. So most people will see the Champions Leaderboard, add a member uh, and the digital badge. As the owner, I get to see the, the lists that are behind the scenes here and I can click on those to maintain them. So let's start by looking at some of the functionality, some of the things that most of us will be able to do with the, the application once it's inside of your tab, inside of your channel. So let's go to the Champions Leaderboard. This is an area where an organization can track uh, their champions across the organization, how they're performing. Uh, a lot of this is manual, so the, the actual champion themselves would go into here, record any events they've been doing. So if I click on record events, I can say what day I did the event on select the event from the drop down. Uh, so if I've been delivering training to your organization, I can click on training, see how many times I've done that. So I've just done it once. If I click on add, it then adds that and it gives me an additional 10 points. So if we scroll up to my account here, you can see I've got 50 points. Now I want to refresh the screen that should jump up to 60. So yeah, a few manual steps in there. So it's up to the, the champion to come in here, update when they do any kind of events. Um, that then increases their score, increases their ranking on the leaderboard and helps you track uh, across the organization what champion is at what level. So this is a global view. You can click on near me. So this can be quite helpful if you want to see uh, anyone that's in one of the regions near you. So if I select it on the west, we can see we've got Patty there in the west. I can also do it by speciality. So again, using the drop down, I can select what special speciality they have. So if they're a teamwork special specialist, I can click on there and I can see the, the current champions for that particular speciality. So again, quite a useful tool just to maybe create a bit of competition amongst the champions, encouraging them to log what kind of events they're doing to help their users across the organization. If I click on the back button, if I want to nominate a new champion, I can click on the add members button here. And I can start typing in a person's name. So I select that person's name, look for what region I want to assign them to. Let's, let's put Johnny on East, choose the country. So I've added in the United Kingdom there. Click on group so you can choose from the, the available groups in there. So this might be a department, a team. So let's say this one's an IT pro. And then focus area. Again, we can choose which area of focus this person is going to be. So maybe they're focused on business apps. If I hit save, it tells me that that person has been added success successfully. Uh, I'm the owner of this, this champions list. So it automatically adds that person. If you're not an owner of the champions list, it puts them in uh, in like a pending state. So the owner would have to go in uh, and update the list to make that person a champion. So if I can now go back to the champions leaderboard, we should see Johnny on there just down here. Going back to the start, 
you've also got the digital badge. So digital badge, if I click on this, uh, you can follow the instructions. Basically, it puts a little badge on top of your profile image. Uh, one of the things I've noticed, this has been probably just over 48 hours since I deployed this to my organization. Uh, and then I myself um, from my account, I've clicked on accept, followed the instructions, and it's added this particular badge to my profile. It doesn't seem to filter through to Teams yet, but does filter through to Office 365 in general. So if I go across to another screen, so I've gone across to another screen. We can see just up here in the, the top of my profile image, it has our little badge on the side there. So this is what it looks like a bit up close. So it just adds that extra image there just to show users that this person is a champion. So I do really like this feature. It's something I've played with in different organizations in the past and adding some sort of banner or image onto the profile image just so it's obvious that that person's a champion when you're looking them up. Again, it doesn't seem to filter through to Teams as you can probably see in the top right-hand corner there. So if someone starts typing a message to this account, they're not gonna see that banner. But if they do have a look inside of Delve or uh, one of the other Office 365 applications, it does show up. So these were the features that um, any champion can come to and have a look at. Uh, so any champion can add a digital badge to themselves. Uh, they can nominate new members. It goes into a pending status, and then the, the owners of the champions program can approve those, uh, and then they'll, they will appear on the leaderboard. And again, when you go to the leaderboard, you get an overview of all of the champions across the organization. If those champions are updating the events that they're participating in or uh, delivering, that will give them a score and that will increase their ranking across the organization again quite a nice feature if you're trying to create a bit of competition uh, drive that adoption amongst your own champions for some of us we may be the people that own this area this this champions network or community whatever you want to call it you also get the champions list events list and tracking list so you have that in 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 your teams tab here so if I click on the champions list, this takes me to the top level of SharePoint, it takes me into a, a list that's been created. It's all predefined, but when you first deploy this to your organization, you're going to want to go in and update the list. So under region, you might want to put in the different regions that your organization is based in, so where your people are based. Um, so that might not necessarily be a regional location, it might be an office location, um, so you can update those fields you can update the country so I, I had to go in and add United Kingdom in there you can go in again update a role so I'm a manager because this is my account uh, everyone else is going to be a champion here we can see the status so as you can see most of them are approved this one here is set to pending so Irvine's been added uh, or nominated by someone else I can see as pending and as the owner I can go in update the the list itself uh, and make that person approved if I agree with that. If you read my blog, you'll also see that I've mentioned that there's no automation on this yet, but something you could do is maybe sim something simple like add an alert to list. So each time someone's added, you get notified, you can come in and update the list, or you could take a step further and go and use a power automate. The other fields you might want to update are the focus areas. So maybe you want to, instead of saying teamwork, business apps, you might break it down by the different uh, Microsoft applications that you are, these people are going to specialize in. And then you've got the group, and that could be your department, your teams across your organization. So again, you can come into here, update this just before you set it to go live. We then have two more lists. Uh, so we have the events list and event tracking list, or event track list. If I click on one of these, it takes me to a SharePoint site that's created when we deploy the site. Again, this is where you can come in and customize it before you launch the app in, in your organization. So for this events list, this is where the leaderboard uh, links into. So each time a member or a champion goes in and updates the events that they've been participating in, it comes to this list here. And this is where you can, again, come in, update the title field so you can uh, decide which which events that they, they can participate in, how many points they get for it, and then you can do the various other bits and pieces here. So if, if you want to turn some of these off, you can set the status to no. So 
So that was just a really quick demonstration or a run through or tour of the Champions Management Platform app. I really like it. It's something I'll probably start recommending when I'm going in and talking to my clients and different organizations about adoption and how they can use the, the Champions program. Um, there are a few tweaks and bugs as we saw something like the, the the profile image it doesn't get the badge straight away um it doesn't seem to filter down to microsoft teams about 48 hours later so it seems to be a bit of a bug there there's a few other things I, i'd personally like to change uh, again i cover a lot of this off of my blog so if you want to read my blog i'll put the details in the description um the only other thing i haven't tried yet is to actually customize the app before deploying it so again there's instructions in the official guidance um, and again, I'll put the links inside of my blog or inside of the, the channel details at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe.